One of the biggest challenges in machine learning is figuring out if your data model has a bias or a variance. Bias and variance are related but they're two separate challenges. Bias is the gap between your predicted value and the actual outcome. Variance is when your predicted values are scattered all over the place. You can have a high bias and a low variance. In that case, your predictions are consistently wrong. But even worse, you can have a high bias and a high variance. That's when you're consistently wrong, but in a very inconsistent way. Think of it this way. Imagine at an archery range, an archer effortlessly let loose his five arrows, which landed in the center of the target. His target is a good example of low bias and low variance. All five of his arrows were gathered tightly in the center of the bullseye. Another person never really shot a bow and arrow before, but seemed to have a gift for it. He let loose his five arrows and had a satisfying thwack as they landed on the target. Since he was a beginner, he didn't have the tightly grouped arrows in the target. Instead, he had a low bias. That means that his arrows were generally gathered around the bullseye, but he had a high variance. There was one that landed straight in the bullseye and the other four were gathered in the next circle. The third person shot five arrows, but they had a high bias and a low variance. They were tightly gathered in the upper right-hand corner of the target. He did shoot the arrows consistently, but he was consistently wrong. Finally, the last person had a couple of arrows in the corner of the target, one in the tree behind the target, and another that landed just in front. He had a high bias and a high variance. His arrows were spread around the target, and he inconsistently overshot or undershot the mark. Remember that bias and variance are ways of measuring the difference between your prediction and the outcome. They're not right and wrong answers but different dials that you need to improve your predictions. The key thing to keep in mind is that you'll use different techniques based on whether you have too much bias or too much variance. When you know which challenge you face, you'll be better equipped to tweak your hyperparameters and make better predictions.